Hey guys, how are you today? I am so excited. I got another journal finished. Now this is a large delusions journal that I started in either late 2015 or early 2016. I don't remember. I do think this is one of the last journals I did when I was still teaching with Claudia Rossi over at Crazy Island University. Um, and I think this is a 2016 journal. I think, I don't remember. I've had this sitting here so long, I don't remember. How bad is that? Anyway, as you can see, I decorated the cover on it before I got started. And don't you just love the way I love this cover? It's actually held up pretty well. Um, I really haven't had any problems with it. Um, it's acquired a few new marks and paint smudges, but I love the way it looks. And I've had it turned back on itself a couple of times, so it's really held up well. We're going to do a journal flip here. And I'm going to share um, the journal with you. Um, now this page here, actually, that's a mistake. I, I usually glue these two together because I don't really understand why those are that way. To begin with, this page here, there's one in the front like this and one in the back. It doesn't really open all the way and they're really hard to work on. So I usually, I guess I forgot, I usually get started by gluing this page to the inside cover. And there we go. There's some great pages in here. I love, oh, I see 2016. Um, so this has been sitting in my studio for almost, <laughs> almost two years. How bad is that? Um, that's a long time for me to have a journal sitting around. Um, this one doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. It's been in there too long. <laughs> so some of these are 2016 work from classes I took. This is one from Peony and Parakeet. Um, some of these are classes I taught in Crazy Island University. My portion of those classes that are displayed in this book is available for purchase in my Etsy shop. Um, and this, I believe, is one of them. So is this one. I've forgotten now. So is that one. Yeah, and that one. So there are quite a few of these in the beginning. This is. These are actually doors that open. You can tell that needs um, wax on there. Uh, there we go. So that was a fun lesson. I'm so happy to get this journal done. This page ended up being the cover of the book that I wrote, which is also available in the Etsy shop. I love this page. There's some really, really great pages in here. Um, some fun art experiments, um, trying different prompts from different things, um, different things different people suggested. Um, inspiration from uh, um, bits and pieces I cut out for collage. Um, this a copy of this picture, uh, th these two pages, is available as a print, um, a download in my Etsy shop. And I may scan a few more of these because there's some really great pages in here, some good work in here. If you have suggestions for certain pages that you would like to see me scan um, and put in the Etsy shop, I can do that as long as uh, I'll take have to take a second look at it and make sure it doesn't violate anybody's copyright, um, you know, that I haven't shown anybody else's work in there. This is a fun one. Now, some of these pages have lots of heavy, like, collage work and stuff on them, so they really weigh a lot. Toward the end of the book, I was really discovering that I really loved the uh, leaving some white space. Not always, as I as I turn the page, not always. But I was really loving leaving white space and working with the negative space to create an interesting composition. I was having a lot of fun with that, and honestly, just being free and playing, um, there was really a lot of fun to be found in doing that. I really 
actually. Yeah, I used some uh, bits and pieces of collage paper that I received as Happy Mail. Um, this is covered in napkins in the background that I was given in Happy Mail. Um, experiments with a new um, stencil that might be coming out soon. This is one of the pages I was talking about where I was inspired by the bicycle image to create the page around it. Quite a few of these end pages were pages like that. This is one of them. There's actually a piece of collage on there. If you can see it or not. Besides the quote. And this is one too. This I, I could have drawn this, but I had this collage image in my stash and I really wanted to create a page around it. So how fun is this page? I love this one. I love the composition. I love what it says over here. Love it. There you go. Going forward to a new adventure. So here's a journal flip of my large collage journal from 2016 and 2017. I can close it up now and put it on the shelf and go forward to the next adventure. And I hope you join me. Don't forget to check out the video's description for any relevant links. You will find a link down there to a site called Linktree. And if you click on that, it will take you to a list of every single place on the internet you can possibly find me. So you can follow me all over the place. All right, that's it for today, everybody. Don't forget to uh, support my channel if you can and the free content here and over in the Facebook teaching group, my uh, creative year. If you'd like to join my creative year for a year of free long mixed media um, fun and inspiration, uh, the link for that is in the link tree. So go to the link tree and go join that Facebook group. Um, there's also the link to a tip jar, an Amazon wish list, and a bunch of other stuff if you want to support me. That's it for right now. The most important thing is to go out, have a great day, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.